Look. Now it. What you you fixed it? He was he was trying all day to. Make it. Yeah, I literally spent an hour just to try to get like proper full screen, and now I just decided to work for no reason. Like. <laughs> okay, so we we still got uh, a few people coming up. Cool. So for those of you who don't know, I'm Benzai, and this is Spoonie. So yeah, first you got to tell us about this game, man. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. So first of all, like, thanks for coming out for the, this game fab panel, and especially like, thanks for coming out last year. And apparently, you had so much fun that you decided that, as like of all the guests of last year, the one you wanted to see again was me. Thanks apparently to the game fab panel. So thank you very much uh, for uh, getting me to be here today because I love. Uh, staying in Kuopio, it's amazing. We went to Harald's uh, yesterday. We yeah. had uh, we had like a blast. It was delicious, and, and I went uh, to see you guys, a few of you guys, uh, dancing to DJ Shrapnel, and it was cool. Um, so we are uh, are we checking age uh, before entrance? They are okay. Is it like 18 or is it 16? 18. Okay. 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 So I can say words such as bum or... <laughs> bum, do you dare? Bottom. <laughs> do, do we, can we say wiener? Yeah. S sausage. <laughs> sausage. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, so we're going to play a game that's absolutely infamous for being one of the stupidest anti-visual novel. It's called Let's Meow Meow. And... Someone recommended it to me and told me it was even stupider than Emerald Studies or uh, Do You Like Horny Bunnies? Or even Exchange, for that matter. Uh, by the way, like, if you like the game, actually, the uh, Yaoi seller actually has a bunch of copies left um, at his booth. So if you want to try the game like, and see the full experience for yourself, like, you, can, you can grab a copy there um, at his booth. So, uh, are we still, like, do we still have people sitting? What we're going to do, since I have a maxed out save game, because I played this game for about 50 hours <laughs> before coming up. <laughs> Not really, like it was with the yeah, game. Uh -huh. uh, and basically, uh, I wanted like to first, like we have two hours together, am I right? Yeah, okay, so the first half, we're going to check the beginning of the story, like, so we get an introduction to the character. Fuck, like, there's a lot of people. Uh, we, we're going to have, like, an introduction to, uh, uh, to the character. But the second hour, we're just going to hit those last save uh, games, like, later save files, so we can actually check out, like, what's the grand finale of which girl and which girl. And you guys will get to vote to see which girl we're going to visit. Okay, all right? Does that sound cool? So, okay. Now, does it sound even cooler if Spoonie only dubs and voices the female characters? I, I've, I've never done it in front of this many people. <laughs> yeah, you can't say no to that. No, no. Well, I'm... All right. Uh, can we have cups, though, like for water uh, people in the background? <laughs> No, I'm already wearing condoms, don't worry. <laughs> oh my god. Is there gonna be, like, are we gonna hear the game or is it just gonna be like me, Starkers, up here? Just like, do, do I provide my own? Oh, we are. We have here. a little bit of sound, but I think the background music is not gonna play. Uh, if I'm correct. Uh, just. There you go, Jim. All right. Yeah, I'll put that to Max, but I think I think we're gonna do without the uh, without the music, which is better because it would be distracting. You guys will provide all the laughter and, and uh, the laugh track, and we'll provide the soundtrack, <laughs> and I'll provide the sound effects as well. All right, shall we start a new game? Let's let's do it. It's called Let's Meow Meow. I'm already like really curious about like this Nazi <laughs> uh, cat chick. And a cat bunny girl. Okay, like, we gotta try this. 
So we're gonna play as Ibuki. Apparently, I, I, I assume it's the. Uh, I have. I, I assume nothing. <laughs> apparently, he really loves like is anime. Like he already has a fetish for uh, for for, he, for that he, kind of girl. He's got no furniture except for the girl posters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like that's normal. Like I guess. <laughs> okay, what's this lecture on? I look at the college lecture schedule on my desk and prepare for each one. I don't know why. You guys can see what. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> I don't know why, but the word kitty is all over the schedule. <laughs> kitty? But I'm majoring in botany. <laughs> As I wonder. <laughs> we have sound effects! Amazing! <laughs> the door opened with an exploding sound. Kool Aid! <laughs> Oh, yeah! <laughs> As I turn around to where the sound came from, I see a huge beckoning cat statue in my room. Why, why a beckoning cat? I'm completely freaked out. Love the music. <laughs> <laughs> I'm completely freaked out with my bag in my arms. <laughs> Ibuki Takao, the Potomac students in Kaibara University? Wow, the statue talks! Excuse me, Ow! It's great dialogue here. I'm the almighty cat god! With a gold coin in his hand, the cat god slides closer to me without blinking. My are Ibuki Takao correct? Uh, yes, I am. Please, uh, have discussion <laughs> and make yourself at home. <laughs> and meow! Thank meow very much! This is gonna, this is gonna be very tiring. <laughs> the cat got smirks and sits down in the cushion. <laughs> Would you care for a cup of tea, Mr. Ginormous? Yeah, I'll, I'll cat? take over a cat man. Okay, okay. Hold oh, don't worry about it. Cats cannot take anything too hot anyway. Cat God politely bows to me and declines. Is he really a god? He certainly looks like he's in a rubber cat suit. I would like to have some milk if I may. Yes, of course. <laughs> I serve him some milk as he requested because I had some in my pocket. The cup floats up in the air and moves towards its painted mouth. And with this strange power, he really must be a cat dog. Or must be really fucking high. <laughs> uh, anyway, like... He immediately starts worshipping <laughs> the, the, the rubber cat god. Anyway, what brought you here, my lord? That's right. I almost forgot my purpose for being here. Pong! With a small explosion, confetti swirls around over my head. Congratulations, Ibiki Takao. I came here to grant me your wish. <laughs> the god, the cat god tells me while he makes his painted whisker twitch. That, that's great news, but why me? Because now most cats very well. You save sick cat lives by taking them to rats and you feed hungry stray cats every day. Well, yeah, I love cats. Like, in a sandwich, they're pretty good. I can't just abandon them. As I answer... Super! Because of that horn heart, <laughs> I came to reward now! <laughs> he taps his knee and nods to himself. Let's get down to business, meow! What do meow want? My wish? Uh, I think it's kind of difficult, but... Uh, then <laughs> <laughs> Boom! I told you that I'm the almighty cat cow! There's nothing impossible for you! Okay. Do not question me! <laughs> Kneel before Zog! <laughs> Can I have world peace? Or... Ouch! Please don't hit me with a gold coin! With a violent god you are! Mm, I shall punish now and never now mock now. Anyway, what's now wish for domination money? <laughs> now name it. 
The cat is just comes here like, yeah, you, you, you take good care of cats. Do you want world domination? Like, <laughs> I see. He's able to make my dream come true. There's only one wish I really want. To pet Spoonie's hair. I, I know you guys would wish that. Oh, I, I want a cat girl! A cat girl! A cat girl! A cat girl! This guy has a serious problem. Really? <laughs> I offer you world domination? <laughs> Which includes, like, you know, all the chicks in the world, but no. That, they, they are. I grab the beckoning cat, I mean cat god, and scream as I only shake him. I want a cat girl! <sighs> no, don't shake me out like that, you're breaking my brain. Cling, cling. I hear his brain flopping around inside his head. He looks dizzy. Please, my lord, provide me with a cute cat girl. Okay, I, okay, I understand, so please shake me out. <laughs> the cat god shakes me out and breathes heavily. In the <laughs> I also am agitated and breathe heavily. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you sure you can give me a cat girl? <laughs> I am a cat of my word, I'll deliver it to me within a couple of days. The world might have taken longer, so look yeah. forward to it. <laughs> Yeah, you're a cat god, but you still use UPS for your wishes. <laughs> These things take some time, hang on. Then he goes down to the rest of the milk. He sticks his tongue into the empty cup and licks away inside. Man, that's... a shabby for a god. It's proper etiquette to finish whatever meow offered. So long! Fuck. The cat god bows to me and vanishes into smoke. <laughs> cat girl. Good cat girl. That's that's the face I imagine he has. I jump around my room with excitement. Guys, <laughs> guys, such a loser. I will go up here now to Mitt Romney. Then I hear a sound of my alarm clock. Huh? <laughs> I jump around at the sound and look around. I see two small rooms and a kitchen. My tiny castle. I don't see the cat god or the person I offered him. It was just a dream. Sorry, it's not a special need person. <laughs> I sit up in my futon and drop my shoulders. I barely crawl out of bed and check my lecture schedule. I don't see the word kitty either. What the hell? I knew it was just my imagination. I scoff at myself. What a stupid dream I had. All right, I'll eat breakfast and go to school now because I talk to myself a lot. I change my clothes, go to the kitchen, and prepare something to eat. My parents moved out of town due to their lovely location, therefore I live here by myself and go to college. Living alone is a bit inconvenient, but I enjoy this lifestyle. It's carefree. I felt lonely in the beginning, but I've coped with it. Oh yeah, what was a nice meal myself? Okay, it's time to leave myself. I carry my day pack, grab my cat food, and leave the room. Yeah, because the guy actually carries cat food. Yeah. Come, come here, and eat a lot. I got the cat gathering place and scaffold the cat food I brought during the sale. Here, don't, you don't look so good, so it better is the stuff. I find a weakened cat and give him nutritious meal. Sometimes take sick cats to bed, naturally I occasionally became flat broke. Still, I have to pay for tuition, so I have a part-time job. Oh. Good morning, Gibbity! I see a shadow while I'm feeding the cat. I seen an Ami Aoba, my childhood friend. The kind of childhood friend you know used to take shower with, like, you know, because like your parents were friends, but after like thirteen to fourteen you kinda of, like stopped so, like okay, like this is uh, getting awkward. Uh she's one year older than me. We both go to the same college. She's more like my sister than a friend, which is no problem. Good morning, Nanami. <laughs> nice. Are you feeding cats? No. Uh, um, you want to try it? Like, mm, it's good food, you know? Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> no thanks, I'm afraid of becoming attached to them. You have no heart. By the way, do I need to remind you that cats are not allowed in our apartment? It's our apartment? She sticks up her index finger, swings it side to side. The apartment I live is managed by her parents. So she is the daughter of my parent apartment's managers, while I'm her tenant. I know, I know. P pets are prohibited, of course. Hey, one answer is enough. Fuck. 
Ow! Nanami's forefinger fist lightly in my head. Oh, small fist. Oh, sorry, like, small fist lightly hits my head. Ouch! You still treat me like a baby. Can I suckle your nipple? <laughs> That's because your parents asked me to take care of you. I'm a college guy. <laughs> I'm a college guy, you Not know. Yet. Can't you see me as a man rather than a boy? I'm just living my own feed cats and f-busters of uh, fict fictional idols, you know. Like I'm a man. She makes a face as I really smile. <laughs> I'm not trying to treat you as a kid. I just worry about you. That's all. Nanami mumbles and vaguely looks at me with my beautiful eyes. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Ha ha ha! You take it too seriously. Nanami peeks at my face and sadly smiles. Sadly smiles. I feel bad to see your face. <laughs> did I say something wrong? D did I offend you? No. Hey! We're going to be late for school! Oh yeah, I forgot she does that. <laughs> yeah. She looks at her watch and shouts all of a sudden. Ah! Then go now! I don't have any class this morning. Okay, then see you later. She fluffs her skirts and runs away. Why did she show me that sad face? I see her off and think about it. Can't think of any reason. Anyway, I think that Amy is a pretty woman. Sure, she behaves like a nagging sister and she makes me comfortable and she looks like Spoony, but... <laughs> okay, my friend, did you all eat well? Meow. Thanks. <laughs> I work late tonight, but I'll bring something to eat, all right? I stroke each cat's head and talk to them. These cats rely on me. This town is strict on garbage dumping. Cats hardly find anything to eat. Speaking of cats, I really enjoyed the cat got dream this morning. <laughs> I'm not feeding those little fellows for reward, but I feel like I, if I was rewarded for just having an interesting dream, I leave the kitties and head to schools. School has finished for today. That, that's chat. That's yeah. <laughs> That's visual novel school, like, yeah, it's done. Yeah, like, it, it only took, like, eight hours. There's no sex <laughs> happening there, so. Yeah. Um, I'm now at my part-time job at a restaurant called Ixalian. Whoa! Whoa! Mommy? Oh, I'm sorry, I got, I got uh, distracted. <laughs> can she talk Whoa. like Miss Piggy or something like, can what? you make, like, a very stupid cartoonish voice? From a from a impersonation of whatever, like Miss Piggy or whatever. <laughs> Can you do like a very stupid voice? Ibuki, Buster combinations one and two are coming up. <laughs> our gorgeous owner chef, who oh, looks like a princess, tell me our popular combination plates are ready to serve. <laughs> okay, well two silver silver combinations for table four. Migumi, <laughs> Migumi. <laughs> As usual, the <laughs> restaurant is super busy during dinner time. I don't even have time to take a breath. Look at, look at this crowd. It's, it's fucking packing. crazy out here. They told me about like in Finland, everybody likes to have a personal space. So I guess like to assume like if it was Finland, there's one guy. So it'd be like, oh my god, like there's no place. We, we have to I find another it. restaurant. Since my parents financially support me, I don't need to work as much, but it helps me to feed my little friends and pay off research expense. Better yet, I can have free meals here too. I anyway, it's busier than this usual today. The place, this place is, is packed. packed! I run around from table ah! to the same table. I'm having a hectic time for sure. No, then, the owner, where did you go? Then I went blind. <laughs> Then I blacked out like I usually do. <laughs> Phew, it's finally over. <laughs> Dinner time is over. Not too many customers are left inside a restaurant. Well done, Ibuki. You worked overtime tonight. Would you like a cigarette? <laughs> do you know? <laughs> my boobs are bigger than my head. Yeah. <laughs> Diona comes out from behind the counter. Well, she. Look at this shit. <laughs> her fucking skirt start where where her boobs actually she has stop. To, she has to hold them up to keep them from like hitting her knees. Yeah. Then it comes out from behind the counter while she plays with her curly hair. This is this is nerving me. Why don't you take your meal out and go home tonight? I also pack leftovers for your little fellows. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, it's. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, the cats. What are cats? Huh? So she says and passes me to go, uh, a, go, a to go box and meal bag. She's such a wonderful lady. I don't know what's about her, like, her personality. Thank, thank, well, thank you very much. I didn't have them. Good night. Say hi to the kitties. Kirby. As she waves her hand, I bow and head home. The cat happily eat the food I brought. <laughs> that, like drawing a picture of a cat like was way too much work. The owner is a careful person, so she didn't include onion in the cat's meal. Onions are poisonous to cat now. Uh, I noticed a big cardboard box by the wall on my way back. How rude, this isn't garbage though. But I pass by the box thinking. Meow meow? I hear a cat's meow. Oh, is there a cat here? No, it's a moose. <laughs> I halt and look around. However, I don't see a cat. Meow, meow. I hear the cat again. It's so faint, but it sure sounds like a cat's meow. Where are ya? I look at the box. The box is rattling. Another abandoned cat is so cruel. I quietly walk up to the box. I take a peek inside through the handle hole. It's too dark to see inside. I smell inside too. I detect a warm scent. Some hazelnut after flavor. <laughs> Tar. <laughs> I smell, yeah, smoked salmon. <laughs> okay. Yep, it's an abandoned cat. <laughs> All right, but I take it home. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I want to see the cat inside. But if I see it, I'll end up taking it home. <laughs> but I can't have it. I can't leave it here either. I can't make up my mind and walk back, to for walk back and forth. <laughs> I'll fit this cat at least. I hope I didn't take the, bat out, the box out of the The container is filled with delicious food, but there's nothing suitable for a cat's taste. Well, then I'll bring some dried sardines and some milk for home, from home. I dash towards my apartment. <laughs> is the cat still here? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he ate the sardines on the way back. Yeah, that's good sardines. I, cush I cautiously hold the lid and, while breathing heavily. <laughs> it's a snake. <laughs> I feel some movement inside. Good, it's still here. I'm relieved and open the box. <laughs> Flash! Ah! He saved every one of us. This is the Matrix, Neo. <laughs> An eye blinding flash of light it's a rises. Flashbang, you fool! <laughs> I can't see anything but white light. I draw the milk and it's starting to fall on my butt. Is this heaven? <laughs> the burning spark of light becomes smaller and vanishes after a moment. What happened? I picked the sardine in the mail, careful look inside the box. Oh my Buddha! Oh my Buddha! <laughs> it's a chick in a box. <laughs> a chick in a box, yeah. I shout as I see the content. It's not an abandoned cat, but a life-size cat girl doll! Yeah, he shouts like that, so that's this awkward. It's Everybody a look! <laughs> it's a cute, pretty, naked girl doll cat with cat ears and color. And I'm like... This mail-order bright thing actually works! <laughs> yeah. That Russian website wasn't so bad I know. at all. <laughs> Worth all the malwares. I was expecting to see a kitten. How disappointing. What? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I can't give her sardines. Girls don't like sardines. Oh, this still looks like it's alive. Awesome work. I stretch out and touch it. Oh, oh, oh. What's this boing sensation? <laughs> which, which, which one? Oh. The softness I feel on my fingertips <laughs> makes me confused. I wonder if it's made of soft vinyl or silicon. I touch the soft doll again. The doll skin is smooth and warm. And beardy. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> 
The doll suddenly meows like a cat. Whoa! I jump away from the box as the girl turns over in the box. Wow, a lifeless doll now has a soul! I must look goofy a little bit. <laughs> a doll never moves by itself. Whoa! That's a fact! Hey, no, wait, no, no. Teddy Ruxpin does. <laughs> yeah. Then. Oh no, it's an abandoned girl, not a cat. This is serious, you guys. I'm looking for Sarah Karma. <laughs> I'm at a loss. Well, I look down and at the sleepy girl. Should I call the police? Or maybe I'd better take her back to my room for a good five hours. And then maybe I call the police if she, like, unless she wants to press charges. I can't leave her here anyway. I'll take her home then. So I decide and close the lid. <laughs> I'm able to lift the corn box without any effort. What? This girl's very light. I carry the big box and head back to my apartment. You gotta admit, this would Okay, look she's bad sleeping in the future now. Now what? I fold the cardboard box and look at the sleeping girl. <laughs> <laughs> she's sleeping so deeply, doesn't wake up with the noise I make. What am I going to do? She has neither clothes nor any ID with her. I found nothing but the girl's inside the box. She only wears a collar and hairband with cat ears. I can't call the police like this. Oh, that's suspicious. Sex offender kidnaps girls. A new headline flits through my mind. My foot is attached to the electronic genie article, of course. No, no! What am I going to do? I'm no sex offender. Not two actual girls, but cats. Well, cats, it's, it's a different story. I panic and run about in the room. That's your part. Oh, I'm waiting for you to panic and run around the room. <laughs> Oh, what the ah! hell is going on? I hear a girl's voice. Her lips look tight and well-shaped. She's beauty. Ah! I shouldn't wake her up. I stop running. <laughs> well, I feel uncomfortable having this girl in my room. Furthermore, even though she's covered up in the future and she's lying naked under that. I've never seen a pretty girl like her. I move closer to the girl and gaze at her face. Fuchin goes up and down as she breathes. Yep, she's alive. <laughs> That's... And imagine that, like, you see, this is between, like, little quote marks, so it's actually saying this aloud. She really looks like a beautiful doll. The cat makes her look so good. <laughs> I recall that dream while I look into her face. Things the cat guy told me, and a reward, a cat girl. Nonsense! <laughs> Nanami is the last person I want to find out about this. Who the fuck is that? Yeah, it's the girl oh, we saw. Uh, the, the one character that talked to us. Oh. Again, I panic. As I, yeah, but after the owner, like, you kind of forget yeah, about yeah, Nanami. Yeah. <laughs> as I panic, I watch her sleeping. Then, bang. Duh. Shit. Just, you had to bring her up, didn't you? Yeah. Cock blocked. <laughs> what about me? The door opens, and Nanami walks in my room. Uh, Nanami, like, what are you doing here? I open my arms in a flurry and block, and block your side. <laughs> I well, thought you hadn't had dinner that's, yet. That's oh, me, sorry. dipshit. <laughs> well, I thought you hadn't had dinner yet, so I brought you something to eat. My bra. You know, I work with a in a restaurant, right? Uh, with a small pot in her hand, she's about to enter my room. Uh, you, you know what? The restaurant owner gave me some food. I make a desperate attempt to walk away. Then Nami's eyes gleam. How dare you! Hey, Pookie! Hey, you brought a cat in here, didn't you? She screams and rushes into the <laughs> I turn pale. No, 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 there's no cat in here! I cling to her. Whoa, hey! She there. shakes me off and finally enters my room. Just as I thought, a kitten! Oh, I think they're gonna play it like the other people actually see actual cats. But you actually fuck girls, but oh, you actually fucking cats. No. <laughs> Nanami says that she sees the girl in my future and I droop my shoulder. Where did you get this pretty kitten? She glares at me and walks up to me. She's scaring me now. Be angry. I found her on the street and she was in a cardboard box. I think she's abandoned. 
Hmm, a disgusting cardboard box and a disgusting lie. Nanami distastefully tells me that she looks at the box with Becca and Cat picture on it. I'm not lying, I found her abandoned by the wall outside. An abandoned child? She doesn't look like a child, though. She says this and tries to take the fusion off her. No, 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 don't do that! Flip. The fusion floats in the air in slow motion. Hey, no. no. You! You secretly brought a girl here, got her naked, and put a collar and cat ears on her. What a pervert! I'm not a pervert. Look at my posters. These girls don't have cat ears. Right? Nanami looks at the naked girls and yells. No, you don't understand! Oh, wait, that's you. No, you don't understand! She was naked to begin with! I make desperate excuses. Are you saying that you found this naked girl with cat ears, which is definitely your taste, on the street by accident? How convincing. How did you know? How did you know it's my taste? <laughs> she says it. Look at the wall behind you. She keeps yelling and points at the wall. Ah! Looking at my life-size, dirty cat girl posters and anime sales from video games and anime, I can't really respond. You're fucking busted. Yeah. I'm really grateful she doesn't have a black light as well. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you'd gone this... Oh, sorry, this is so far. I didn't know you'd gone this far. Release her at once! <laughs> <laughs> Release? Where? Into the wild. <laughs> I, I freak out as I see her shaking in anger. 